Uh, good morning. <clears throat> Today we are talking about fact uh, versus uh, fiction. And uh, this is to do with uh, what we've been witnessing on this platform. Where Mkoma Masiba has been a constant figure, apart from his uh, Facebook uh, publications. Some of you have seen him ask the question, why is a person in hospital uh, doing lives in hospital rather than attending to his sickness? The question is, is Mkoma Masiba sick or not? What is your take? Uh, how does a sick person look like? If a person creates the impression or invents sickness, how are we to know whether the person is sick or not? Does the mere fact that a person is in hospital confirm sickness? Or a person could be playing his part in creating a perception of sickness. How many people are told something and they believe it and they accept it as fact when it's not fact? What is fact? What is fiction? How do we test what is fact? Some people say a fact remains a fact, does not acquire new characteristics by passage of time or by someone telling it, uh, even as it is. So what is fact to one may not be fact to another. That's the topic. Journalists are confronted with facts, but they think it's facts because they're told by somebody else and only to turn out that there is no fact supporting the affirmance made or the allegations made. Is it important to distinguish between fact and fiction? And to you, what is a fact? What is fiction? Uh, many people might think that he's writing a book. My answer is he is not. Unless someone else is writing a book for him, he is innocent and vulnerable and is subjected to exploitation. Is it not what we say about everybody else? Somebody tweets, then other people say the person who is tweeting is only doing so because he has been caused by somebody else. What about if the truth is the person who is tweeting actually is applying his mind to what is to be shared. Yet some people like Abby would not accept the sovereignty and independence of the person who is sharing what is on his mind. How do we know what is shared is organic, comes from the author and not associate or appropriate what is shared to somebody else? Abby, do you know for certain what the state of mind of Guam Simba is? If you do, please share with us. Because you are saying Mukuma Masimba might think that he is writing a book. Might think. What if he is writing a book and he believes that that book can best be written by him and it can be written online, virtually, as he does one show after another, when you compile all those shows, what is the difference between a story uh, and a book? Because that book is already with you. You can relate to it day by day as is told by him. The next question is, my answer is he is not. So you are substituting yourself for him. How do you know that he is not when he says he is? What if he truly he is and you are casting doubt on the sincerity and honesty of the person writing the book? How many people 
look at movies or follow movies, follow stories. Uh, some of them are fiction stories. And uh, they create characters in the story, but nothing in the story is true. Unless Mkwama Masimba is saying that is not true, but what he is living through is true to the extent that we know what it is, we can relate to it. What if it's in text form, in book form, what would be the difference? Right now we have the video form and uh, the fact is uh, what he wants us to believe. But if what he wants us to believe is fiction, how can anyone else other than him be able to tell the story of what is fact, what is fiction. So how do we reduce somebody's story into fiction arbitrarily and unilaterally as what Abby is saying? Unless someone else is writing a book for him, what is a book, uh, uh, Abby? If it is a story, uh, what is the difference between that story as he's telling it is telling it in the hospital, outside the hospital, who are we, you and me? He is not fully capacitated. He is a sick man. What about the fact that you are saying he's sick is part of the story, that he wants you to believe that he is not fully capacitated and he's a sick man, and you are now the doctor who says, I know he's sick because he has to be sick. What if he's not sick? And you are saying, he must be sick because I've seen him. I know of him. What if it was a story, not played live on video in your face? What if this story is real, but he is not sick? How are we going to know the difference between sickness and no sickness? He is innocent and vulnerable. You are now giving yourself the judgmental power to decide who is innocent and who is vulnerable. What about if he himself is the one who is creating his own script, fully knowing that every would believe whatever he decides to believe, but the truth is somewhere else. He could be sick, but that sickness can only be diagnosed by professionals who must be able to certify him as sick. Right now he's in hospital. We have not yet seen the results yet. Abby is saying he knows better. Just from looking at him, from hearing him speak. So if I was a journalist and I had to write this story, what would I say? Would I follow Abby's version that this person is vulnerable, he's sick, he's being abused by third parties? And those third parties should know what Abby can never know. And Abby is pre presenting something to be fact because that's what he believes. So what if he's fully capacitated, Abby? Then what? Would that be correct? Or you would still be arguing with him that he must be sick because the version that you have accepted is that of sickness. So what is real? I told you somebody is dead somewhere else. Would you believe it just because I've told you? If you know the person and I've said the person is dead, you have no reason to doubt what I'm saying. But what if the person is actually not dead? But about if somebody uh, loses life who is not known to you, Abby, then what? How would you know what the truth is unless you are there to witness it? How many of us are incapable of witnessing all that is happening in the world for us to be able to authenticate it as true or false? So, Abby, where do you get this sense that he is not fully capacitated, that he is a sick man? What if he is not sick and he's playing it up so that you can buy the book and hear the inside story of what it was like to be sick. And you come out of this sickness with a book. The book will be the myth 
or the or the truth about being sick. How many people believe what they see and what they hear, and they take it to be fact? So, Abby, what is the truth about somebody else's vision? What if he's playing it up, but he's sick, so that people believe that he's sick, and they buy the book to know what did take place, and is creating an interest on a story. But who other than him can judge his own sickness? If he went to hospital believing he's sick, he would have gone to hospital on his own. But the facts are that he did call the, the ambulance, he did call the police for him to go to uh, a hospital. He has now been admitted and he was escorted by the police who made sure that he is in hospital. But if he wanted to show the true condition of the healthcare system in Australia as he has left it, how many people don't know what a hospital looks like until they are sick. But he has given an expose of what the, the conditions are and how a person can be admitted even if he's homeless how a person can get care even if he may not be sick. What if that is the storyline in the book that he is writing, that I've been there to test the system. There are many people who talk about hospitals without actually visiting one. When they visit one, it's too late. But right now there are people who now know what it can be like if they are sick and they can be admitted to hospital. So this is the conversation that uh, uh, I thought would be useful because only yesterday, Mkwa Masiba uh, hijacked, ambushed somebody on a WhatsApp call and said, come to do my live show. The person didn't know what was to come. The person uh, thought the interview was about Mkwa Masiba, uh, Masiba explaining why he would want to do live shows when he's sick. Instead of focusing on that uh, uh, target subject matter, the discussion then was about C to C. What is C to C, which is converting connections to communities, and how is that relevant to what was being discussed? So yesterday the person was ambushed. He was not prepared for it. And uh, this morning he sent me a message say this is unfair because Mkwa Masimba took advantage of me to talk about a subject that we never uh, had agreed and Mkwa Masimba's relatives were complaining that uh, people like me are giving him platforms to be able to continue to broadcast while he's sick and I must be responsible. I must be the one to deny him access so my answer was, I see Masimba being able to broadcast uh, on his own Facebook page, Masimba Masimba, on other people's pages. So clearly there is something behind this. There is a spirit that is pushing him to be able to get out there with his vision. I tried to talk him out of the vision to say, please, if you are sick, uh, let us be let be honest with your sickness, be candid with your sickness. Please don't use other people. Masimba is a high a function, is a high a function candidate, and he may appear to function to others. I don't know, Abby. You may know better. If you know better and you're a doctor, you are there, and you can tell us what is the truth according to analysis. There are lots of unexplained issues regarding his brain function. I don't know what I don't know, Abby. If you know something, please share it. Please come forward. Tell us what is fact. Tell us what is fiction so that we may know better. With good medication, food, therapy, and rehab, he is likely to get back to usual self. Tell us, uh, Abby, what is his usual self? I don't know him. I don't know how to penetrate his mind. 
so that I know the truth. If I know the truth, what is fact, then I will then be guided by fact. But how many of my decisions are made because somebody else has presented something to be fact that is not fact? Who am I to believe? The sick person or the sick person who says he knows what sickness is and he knows what the person needs? Who is to be believed? And when we look at broader societal issues, who are we to believe? When a president says there's no crisis, yet to somebody else, life is a living hell. It's a living nightmare. But to the president, it's not. Because what he knows to be real is not what the person is going through. How many of us substitute others and think when it's raining here, it must be raining everywhere, when the reality is otherwise. How many of us are like you, Abby, that we assume that role of being judgmental without having facts from both sides? In this case, what are the doctors saying? In this case, what is Masimpa saying? Masimpa, I don't know what the truth anymore is. Because at one time he says, I'm writing a book. And then the next time he's in hospital. And it's a reality. Is being in hospital part of the reality or part of the fiction that he wants to sell as reality? Part of the book that he is to sell or part of the following that makes him real? So what is real? And how do I track reality? And who am I to be able to be the judge of facts that are untested in an open forum where I'm independent, I'm impartial, I'm just looking at the facts, at his condition? How many of us are like you, Abby, who then says what you know is real? If he's sick to you, he must be sick. He ought to be sick and must be treated as a sick person. Then the person becomes sick because we are expecting him to be sick. And when he exhibits a mental faculty, that display, that common sense, reason, and logic is still with him. We still believe otherwise. I'm saying we, because it's me and you. I don't know there's a part of me like you, Abby, that can't he get it. He is in hospital for goodness sake. Why should you be broadcasting in hospital? If he's not sick, why is he doing this? Masiba said the doctor suspect he might have PML. And he said the doctor say his brain has shifted. He is clearly unwell. If that is the case, why not the doctors deal with that? He drank his own urine yesterday and want, want to, uh, to drink water from the chamber. That's it. What if he wants you to believe that, to confirm that he's sick? He will drink the urine. He will do everything that you are saying. But is he sick? Yes or no, Miles? If he's sick, let you be the judge based on objective conditions. But how many of us accept reality? Because he's told by the author of it. He, want, he may want us to believe that he's sick. And to confirm that he's sick, he has to do these things that you are alleging he did or he's doing. So I don't know what is fact. I don't know what is fiction. Fiction. How many people die and we think they're not they're, they're, they're well? How many people are mentally uh, uh, challenged? But we believe they're well because they behave as if they're well. He has invited the whole world to watch him pretend or to actually drink urine. No normal person does that. Anna, that's fine. That's where the problem is. That he is saying he's writing a book. And I don't know what kind of normal person would do that, but I've seen normal person, seemingly normal person, who act in a manner that suggests they're not normal. I've seen seemingly enlightened people who behave as if they're not enlightened. I have seen people who pretend to be what they are not. And I don't know what truth is, what falsehood is. Does, do, did people see him drinking the urine or they're going by hearsay? 
time. I don't know. I was not even, I didn't even watch it. I'm just hearing from it. But if I pretend to be poor, people believe I'm poor, but they don't know what my bank account is. They don't know where I live. I can spend a whole day pretending I don't have the things of life that I need to live. And people believe me. How many people have gotten jobs and pretend they know what the job requires them to do? All need to find when they are in the job, they become politicians, they work to rule, they protect the job, but they come in behaving as if they are fully functional, they know what the job is, they are enthusiastic about the job. The moment they get the job, they show you another character, another personality that you can't recognize. How many people live fake existences? How many people pretend to be what they are not? And who are we to judge if the person says, I'm not sick, I'm competent, judge me by the content of my character. How many people are called blacks? How many people are shot wrongly? Just because somebody believes they're up, up to something, they're going to get a gun. And that's all fiction, it's not reality. But how many people protect themselves Again, it's violent when the violence has not appeared. How many people will deny you bail thinking that you are dangerous because of what you tweeted, what you promised? You may promise to change the world, but it doesn't get changed by you saying it. How many people are so sick that they will spend their entire day telling the story about something they have never witnessed? talking about corruption, the corruption they never witnessed. How many of us are sick? How many of us are sick to the extent that we actually buy nonsense? But when it's told by someone we know, we immediately become like Abby, that I know what this man is going through and I can predict what he is going through. How many drunk a urine, yes, if he did drink uni, he was intended to eat his china today, yes. He wants, what if he wants you to believe by showing you that he is doing exactly what a madman does? He has a serious mental health issue, but you are saying it, not him. What if he is the author of that? He would know when he needs to take off. And he neglected himself for too long. What if that's part of his book? What if he's leaving it so that he can cash in on what he's going through? He discovered that people are so gullible that they'll believe anything. Then we don't know how much damage he has done to his brain due to substance misuse. How many people have done damage? They are not on Facebook Live, Abby. Would you be able to certify them because you don't know them? Who am who are you and me to certify somebody is sick just because they've displayed their sickness? How many Are we? Who am I? Myself, not you, not speaking on your behalf. I know to other people when I say, let me speak on my behalf, they don't believe me. But there are far too many people who like to speak on behalf of somebody, whether they are sick or not. I saw him drinking urine that we are getting somewhere mouse and waste from chamber on a live Facebook live. He got agitated when he spoke to Carol and he said, she has denied access to speak to Passion Java. That's fine. So it's him who is the author. It's him who is playing all this up. I don't know whether it's real or not, but who am I anyway? Are you sure it was urine? Are you sure it was not ginger beer? Are you sure that uh, it was not peanut butter? Are you sure that this person you're talking about does not know exactly what he wants to convey. What message is he conveying? Ma, ma, what 
what makes you believe could you wait Joshua how do you believe what you see in a movie I've watched so many movies I become part of the story I believe the people who are acting sometimes I even talk to them as if they are the character in the movie how many people are so good at acting and we believe acting is that the fact is it a fact that it was urine it is a fact that it was dodi morning sabina it could be apple juice and people believe it's urine because he said it was that's exactly what he may be saying that look because i say it's urine you believe me then you condemn me to a mental institution just because i told you what you want to believe and once you believe it it becomes fact you repeat it you even castigate others for hosting mkoma simba because he must not be hosted he must be ostracized just because he is playing or writing his own so called book even if it wasn't during the very fact of him pretending doing it is, is it normal he has already uh, disclaimed everything he says i am writing my book one chapter will be urine one chapter will be a uh, dodi and that's what he's right he says he's writing he has already told you that he is in the midst of writing a book because he has seen how gullible people are people believe what you tell them if you tell them so and so is stolen he is stolen because somebody says he is stolen akaitira mukapu and drank it i saw him doing it if he did it then that's him deciding to do it and that decision to do it in front of you what if it's part of his storyline why would somebody normal tell you i'm going to do this so that you believe that he's doing it and then you conclude as a doctor as a facebook doctor that he must be sick because he did what you saw he did how many people see with their own eyes and make something to be true and it's not true mama were kana mkardash what if he pans mm makura sika budwaru kuhara dai matoenda kwa banda imi semunu mkuru mango noti enyu sorry i don't know what the truth i wish i knew i wish i knew what the truth is i don't know my cousin was castigating me why are you hosting him i said i don't know i've hosted people i thought were saying were lawyers only to find out they were bullshitters I have, I have met so many people who pretend to be what they are not or they want it to be true sabina that's what some people want we talking about things that we know what we have seen times 500 times yes abi you what you have seen need not be true because you have seen it can i call to explain yes abi you can call and explain so that i hear you you may help me to know what the truth is what the truth is not i have no idea of knowing what is true and what is fiction that's all i'm coming from people always believe what they want uh, because their brains are messed up it said indeed it said that we want to believe what we want to believe mkoma uh, mr m I got to eat it away in cup and drink it. Yes, if he wants you to believe he's mad and that's his story. Yes, he would drink it. But I don't know whether it's urine or not. If it is, then you are buying into his storyline. We all know that Masimba was not acting plus in a say they don't admit anyone for fun. What if he's been admitted just to expose that the hospitals can be abused by people who are homeless who are not sick? what if that is storyline the fact that we saw the ash to breathe mr mai how do we explain that he asked for breathe fine if you if he did that what if it is storyline to make you believe 
what he wants you to believe as part of his story. They were giving him pills. Yes, when you are in hospital, they give you pills, but he watches what pills he's begetting. So Brenner says, we need a we need, uh, banda because of the story that he's giving. Why do we need banda? He needs banda himself, not us. Let us not be push doctors. The truth is right in front of our eyes. MM is not well. Yes, what if it's his storyline? I would want to agree with you, Hannah. But I don't know what is true because the people I've seen in my own life, my own eyes, and I thought they were sane, only to discover that they were bongas. They were, they were sick, but they pretended not to be sick. And he actually showed his manhood on a live doing it in a cup, and you really saw it being done, and you're assuming he did. I didn't see, because if, even if I had seen, I can't call it reality, because to him, he is, he is saying, disclaiming everything he does, that I'm doing this to show how dumb I am, that I would believe anything he does, anything he says. That's what he's saying on the other hand. Who am I to be the judge? What would qualify me to be the judge of his own conduct, his own actions? Abby, Providence. Masimba is not well, however. It comes with exaggeration. I don't know Providence. You may know better what reality is. I thought of having this conversation to provoke talking about reality versus fiction. Fact doesn't change. If you are sick, you are sick. Unless you get cured, nothing will change. Even if you play it up, you don't play it up, you don't come on Facebook, it doesn't change your condition. Even if you hide yourself, bury yourself in the sand, it doesn't change the objective fact of sickness. You are sick. You are not sick because you have urinated and drank urine or you are naked. No. Sickness is an objective condition. It doesn't require theatrics. It doesn't require for somebody to confirm they are sick by doing stupid things. Why do stupid things when you are sick? Why don't you attend to your sickness in hospital? Why would you be this dumb? And ask yourself, who am I to judge? He's not well, that's why he's in hospital. But no one knows the diagnosis the doctors have gone, given him. Thank you, Tembi. I don't know. And I would rather confirm and assert that I don't know what I don't know. Mawero Autodakunge Wakupengao. Your obsession, Namasimba, is not yet, is not Yega. Riz, I'm not obsessed at all. But I have seen people who are called sick. Some have committed suicide when they were not actually sick. When people are around them, condemn them. When people say, I'm HIV positive, other people actually say, I'm positive. And then they end up not talking to you. They end up talking about you in your presence. They end up shunning you just because you've said you are HIV positive. How many people are HIV positive who don't even want to say it? And those are the people who cause havoc to others. How many other people are corona positive who keep quiet? They are afraid to tell anybody because if they tell anybody, everybody will shun them. How many people have been buried wrongly? People thought they were corona positive. They cannot be touched. How many people make decisions on the basis of facts that they don't have? It's nothing to do with, with uh, uh, Masimba. It's nothing to do with me. But this is the talk of talking about issues. You'd like to play me. That I am sick because I'm trying to take this to the next level where we can openly talk about how many people in our lives, including us, who would like to share the truth so that others may believe what we want them to believe. How many students are not going to class, but they pretend to their parents that they're in school. And you can't check. They come back with books and you say, what have you been doing? 
They say, I've been in class. And you actually don't know whether the person was in class. How many people live married lives when the reality is something else? How many people get jobs without knowing what the job entails? How many people get certificates? And they're fake. How many people crop certificates of others, change their names, and get jobs? Is this reality or is this fiction? So how many of the things that we think are real, but they are fake, and the things that we think are fake, they are real? Some people commit suicide. Who knows? That's where he's heading. I'm saying is. I can't stop somebody from doing that which they are going through. The reality will always come. When night changes into day, you can't stop it and reverse the clock of time. That's what is meant to happen. But now I don't know what the truth is. He dipped a cup in the toilet and drank the water. Yes. That's what if that's part of his storyline to make people believe, to confirm like a thief would steal from you without you knowing, who pretend to be something that they are not. They have to play the game. How many of us have been deceived in life by people we trusted, by people we thought were close to us? The Australian hospital system is abused by homeless people all the time. That's what some people say. This is, that is if we are not working too much. Honey. Okay. If you are working, you'll be exposed. Maybe too go with what you see, not what if. What I see is not real to me because I've seen many people who pretend. We saw reality that us were trying to push. What do you think, Mr. M? If you saw reality as told by Masimba, it's the reality that he wants you to believe. He has created the reality by doing what you are saying he did. It was not somebody forcing him to do what he did. So if it's part of his story to create this storyline, then what, Saben? I'm not disputing what you saw, but what I see and what I've seen, what I've heard, has turned out in many cases not to be true. I personally think he's not well. He needs medical. We all believe the same thing. What about if his storyline is that? How am I supposed to know? If you don't know Mtuma, why are you pushing the what if scenario? Because that has been done to me as well, Zeti. I have seen many people who have pointed fingers at others just because of what they saw. And uh, there is 35 minutes, uh, uh, only five people. Mawer knows if he gets MM, his views will be above, above 300 in less than five minutes. Hence, when he invites guests, he mentions MM. I don't mention him. I don't. He is the one who calls me. He is the one who has brought me into this. I, no, I was not following him. Some of the things that you are saying, I don't even know about them. So, Rize, look at the facts. I'm only talking about this because I've hosted him when he was presumably okay. We hosted him. So, since I've known, I've always given him an opportunity to express himself. Who am I to judge? Riz, you are, charging, you are ju judging that I'm following people. I don't need people to follow me. I don't need the conversation, but this conversation about fact and fiction versus fiction is an important conversation. Why are you not sticking to the subject, not playing, not creating reality yourself, uh, uh, Rhys? I don't even know who you are, yet you pretend to know. Mawere knows you are not me. I don't know what I don't know. I wish I did. I understand your motive, but most people don't like the fact that you are using MM as an example. I'm not, I'm using him because he has used me to come on his show. I don't have to be on his show 
People think I need numbers to do what? I love how people are blaming Mama Were, but they spent hours watching Masimba. Are those watching not also guilty of encouraging him? I didn't even know about what he's being alleged to have done. I was not on the show. Masimba has made a little famous. I, I, do I need to be famous? I see the numbers on your lives always increase when you have him on your shows. It's not because I invite him. It's him inviting himself on my platform. I don't need to chase people. I would come here, talk nonsense. Then you follow me because I talk nonsense. I talk about people like Nika Zino would want to talk about me and the numbers. Then I become, I set up a show of faking so that I have numbers. Do you think it's fair? I pretend to be sick when I'm not. Don't import what you've seen from other people on Masimba. Just go with what you see on Masimba, not importation. Zet is now giving me a lecture of what I should be. If you have no example, Zet, Masimba is the one who invited me. He could invite you. He, you can be on his show. But every time he has called me to come on his show, to be hosted on my show, Zeti, if you have something, please share it. Don't make me the reason why you are here. <clears throat> but uh, why are you wasting your time talking about him? I'm not talking about he is the yesterday. I'm just telling you that after yesterday's show, somebody was angry that I had hosted him. So I had a conversation this morning. I think Sabrina may, know, may be aware of the conversation I shared with you. And there are people who think I am a de facto when he comes here that I've gone after him to say, come here, come here, I need you. He has come on, he called me yesterday. I was on a call with somebody who said he's a member of uh, the initiative that I'm part of. And Masimba says, come on my show so that we talk about that initiative. That is what happened. Zine Basare, Shema views. I'm happy to see MM at the right place improving. People want to make me the reason. Even if he doesn't come on my platform, he's still broadcast anyway. A uh, 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 stabiler says it's not good to ignore such people. Mr. Mori is not trying to help him. I have to give him the space. If he's playing up, time will tell. Time will never hide what is true. What is true will always be true. If he's sick, he is sick. Where is he now? You are alone here. I, if I come with him, then you are saying I'm abusing him. If I don't come with him, then you are saying now, I need to chase after Nunzi, after people that they must come and watch me. Watch me for what? Don't mind people, Mr. Maweri. I've sent the link, uh, uh, Sabrina. I don't know what's happening. So I got uh, 40, yeah. But you are fueling his madness. How do I fuel a dog to bark when he wants to bark? No, don't be defensive. Zet now is coming to accuse me. I'm not defending anything. And uh, then, then it is uh, uh, Terby says she knows me and says I've always done this. I've written, I've written articles, I've written in the newspapers just to help share my ideas. You say time will tell, but what? Masimba is doing, it might end in death. And I think that is what everyone is worried about. I don't know how to stop someone from dying. You have a radio station and you give someone to come and shit on a live stream that is posted on a radio platform. Are you not destroying a media platform? No, I've seen worse things, Munwe Nyama. I've seen worse things. This is not the first time I've seen people shitting on themselves. And I uh, I don't need to before uh, Sabrina a uh, morning. 
good morning, Mr. Mawere. How are you this morning? Fine, and you? Not too bad. Obviously, all of us are all stressed out, you know. Everybody's stressed out. I think Tembi Hela can relate to that. So, Mr. Mawere, we still have a long journey. So, no point getting yourself worked out. Mm. You know, I I'm think so as, as Zimbabweans, we're missing the point here. Um, for me, it's good that you are doing these lives rather than me so that they take Mukoma Masimba's uh, situation uh, a bit serious, if not serious, serious. Because if I was conducting these lives, right, people would just be saying, ah, vano penga vese. It's, like it's good that an adult like you can be there as a mediator. By the way, I'm not pressing those emojis, but I'd love to press them. Yeah. So thank you very much, Mr. Mawere, for being a mediator in our community. We don't even pay you and, you know, um, you don't owe us anything. Yeah. You see, I, I have seen, you saw the conversation this morning, which was uh, yesterday. I, yesterday. I sent you on your, on your WhatsApp. I, I think I haven't read the trunk, but it's okay. You yeah. can just give me a summary and we'll help each other yeah. with the person, with the, yeah. with the commentators. That's right. So this was the message that was sent to me uh, this morning. And uh, I think you may have seen the show yesterday and what happened uh, for the show to take place. And uh, uh, I was speaking to my cousin who's in the US. Masimba called me while I was okay. on that conversation. So I said, uh, because he was there in the previous show and where we had a disagreement with Mukoma Masimba where he was suggesting that he wanted to talk to uh, the former deputy president and speaker, uh, Mrs. Mbete. And he wanted me to be on Aubrey Masango's show and Tabani or something show. And I said to Masimba, if I want to be on any show, I can do my, I can, I can request that myself. I don't need somebody to come on a Facebook live to pretend to be my bridge to a show or to know people I don't know. I've introduced him to this lady in Kuli, the daughter of this former speaker. So, so who, I, who, who introduced who? I introduced Mkoma Masimba when he called again. I was on a conversation with her when she wanted oh, to know okay. Zimbabwe. So Mkoma Masimba didn't introduce the lady to you? No. Okay. So I'm the one who introduced you. I said, Mkwa Masimba, why don't you get serious if you want to do broadcasting? Why are you pimping me to other shows? Why are you talking about me? Panu Badarai Mari, Kwa Mawere. It's Mawere, 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 Mawere. If I'm dead, who are you going to abuse? Why can't you talk to other people than Mawere? Why do you need to abuse me on your shows while you are going through your difficult uh, problems? Why do I have to sit in in your shows? When I introduce you to somebody, instead of thinking about yourself being a journalist of tomorrow, you are thinking of pimping me connecting me to somebody to interview me. If there's something you want to know about me, why are you not the one interviewing me? So what does that tell us about his mental state? Yeah? What does that tell us about his mental state according no, to what no. you just told it, it is a, He called me yesterday after the show. He said, it's not my mental state. I want to be able to write a book that is a bestseller. And I want to come back and, and do shows. And I want to do the shows on 1873 FM radio as a radio presenter. But I have not finished my book. 
I want these stories to add up. So according to you, right, is there anyone taking minutes for these books? He's saying that he lost a lot of content that he generate, generated. Uh, I think I'm going to join you. I'm going to link you to the link here, Mr. Mawen. Yeah. So, so he, he says, I'm writing my book. I'm on a mission. The fact that I spoke to the speaker is part of my book. And he is writing a book. And he's saying that he's got a lot of followers who are gullible enough to follow him and accept Abhi, his story. Abhimandi Shona wants to be added. So yeah. I don't know if you yeah. can pay the I'm, link. But that's yeah, what I'm saying. It. It. Chingo Presai, Presai panel link yo yo. Presai papa ino kurati zai kuti pin. No, no, it's not on Facebook. I'm not broadcasting on Facebook. Oh, Mark, to yeah, yeah, because you've been saying, yeah. Why you saying, good morning, Fony. Yeah. Good morning, Heather. Sitabile, good morning. Tese Panapa, Mr. Mawere, good morning, Mary Doro. Uh, Miriam Misha, yeah, you see. Carol Washe, <laughs> you know. At Naburara, Tese, Tangorara, my four hours, four hours, including in the end. Yeah. Yes, Saka, I personally think as Zimbabweans, we are really missing the point. Yeah. And the point is right in our face. I've got the answer for that point. Now, I've tried to work some common symbols in the views in the short essay in the end. In the end, I don't want to Yeah. Saka, and in the end, in the end, the day my Simba partner Kupenga is the day I will change my partner. Akaroi wane akafa. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, uh, yeah. So I was just giving you the story of what happened yesterday. That this is okay, what that... happened. And he wanted to be on the show. So yesterday he says, Ah, you are a member of C2C. You are an engineer. Come on my show. And that's what happened. I said. No, I don't want to be there because people get a different understanding. But I was the one uh, uh, hosting because uh, this platform hosts on eight uh, different channels. So you can you can be on Facebook, on uh, YouTube, on uh, LinkedIn, at all at one. Saka ini na unda kopi inda ndichinzo kwa mwa chita ora kuti Mr. Mawere wa kuchaka cloud, chika na uti crowd. Saka, what was this live about? What was the topic? This was fact versus fiction, as you can see on the... What is fact? Oh, what okay, is fiction? Yes. There are some yes. people who are presenting it as fact. Right now, Mr. they're saying... Weary, I actually... I thought it is live. So if he's live on his own, they would like to accuse me that I am the one who has caused him to be live. No, don't worry about that, Mr. Mawere. It's just only about three or five people accusing you, not the rest of us. You should just go ahead with your inner instinct, what you've been doing all along. I don't know why you're now looking at people's thoughts and opinions, yet you've come so far. Yeah. And, and you're under the guidance of the hospital because they would have taken his phone and there's nothing he can do about it because you can see in hospital, he's got a security guard outside as much as he wants to show. You know what, 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 what he said is uh, because of his conversation with Mdekunya yesterday, Mdekunya was not forceful, was not convincing about this community building project. And because I've always been saying to Mkwama Masimba, convert your followers into a community so that you have issues that you discuss. If it's identity, you discuss identity. If it's an issue, yeah, yeah, Facebook or live show, you discuss that. Why would people uh, follow him and not another? Let's discuss that. Let's discuss about banking. 
Let's discuss about funeral plans. Let's discuss about insurance. Let's discuss about things that build character, that gives you the bridge to your next job. Let's discuss how to leverage on others. He, like he's doing, leveraging on other platforms. When he was blocked by Facebook, he came to me and convinced me that it was important for his message to go because he is writing a book. And he says, I know whatever you've recorded is still there. So since you have multiple platforms, if Facebook blocks me, I know that content is preserved somewhere. What happened is all the content that I had was blocked and everything I lost. Yes. So I can't same. go back and recover it. So I need to have a platform, have a home where there's archiving. So even if I'm dead, that content will have a place of storage, will have a but burial place. Yes. And, you, and I don't see anything wrong with what you did. I also gave in my account because I also assessed the you can assess you can't give Osama bin Laden pin number can you? What is the risk assessment in place umupe so that other people might have their own opinions, you know? But like I said, we are all missing the point, all of us Zimbabweans. This is why I've just left my Zimbabweans, I cheat out my life, see my commentators, I cheat out, but not you, because you came in as a mediator. So am I allowed to just express myself in a few words, what I just think? I wanted to do a live, but I'm not that kind of a friend. Um, even a sister or a brother or an acquaintance who can go on somebody's vulnerability and try to make likes out of it. And it's, I'm not saying that's what you've done because I've been supporting you as well. So I don't know if I can just be given the opportunity to express exactly how I feel where we Zimbabweans are missing the point. No, no, you don't need to. You're already speaking. Oh, thank you. Uh, Mr. Mawere, it's not really about Mukoma Masimba, you know. It is about Mr. Mawere and uh, the people. It is about Zimbabwean lives matters. A lot of people have been saying depression is real, and they stop at that. Sometimes I wonder, when they say depression is real, is it a fashion statement or is it to make yourself look good? Like they imply sentences like who would do that to make themselves to make themselves feel good, look cool, and whatever swagger they're trying to portray. My point being, when we say depression is real, we need to dig deeper. The origin of depression. What makes one depressed? And if you look at it, when we were in Zimbabwe, we never even understood what depression is. And when you go back to the song here, Oliver Mtukuzi, he says, Kusina mai akuyendwe. According to my own studies, if you take Mbakonzo, Kuna mai vavu, Asat arumurwa, even imbwa, inoita, inoita ma mental problems. Mental you know, sounds like a harsh word, but it's just the brain study of your mental, the brain. But ukatora gonzo kupakuna maya chuchairu, runo abnormal in its own adult life. For us as Zimbabwe, we didn't choose it, but it has been forced upon all of us, and that also includes you. When I said I wanted to expose Mr. Mawere and I wanted to expose Masimba, I was actually not implying it in a negative way, but rather in a positive way to say Mr. Mawere had his own misfortunes. In any, I've been judged by the court when I was uh, not guilty to be guilty. So I understand the betrayal of the justice system, okay? And Masimba Futi, 
is a person who started IT for Zimbabwe. He was hoping one day you'll be driving his Nissan son, you know, pick up uh, his Nissan pickup, you know, living somewhere, you know, in flamboyant areas like Borodo, Brooks and everything. But Zimbabwe just took a turn and he finds himself in Australia where it's very hard to look for, to even be a citizen there because you have to you have to jump certain uh, hoops. Saka ininika, so Andruku Taura now about Masimba and University of Zimbabwe, whatever is done, he never thought he would find himself there. So when I say we are missing the point, it's not only Masimba, it's all of us as Zimbabwe. Aren't you also Zimbabwe risking, aren't you, aren't you also risking uh, imposing your view on others instead of asking Mr. Mamed, no, I'm, I am saying my thoughts. I no, am no, talking my thoughts. Yeah, I'm not it. questioning. No, no, I'm saying it's there. I let, let uh, Masiba speak for himself and let you speak for yourself. And I'm, I speak that's for not myself. exactly what I'm doing. I'm speaking for myself. But I'm thinking you were already saying that uh, uh, something happened to Maweri and caused him to do this misfortune and whatever fortune. Because we've uh, heard you talk, uh, who told me about SMM? I don't even yeah, know what SMM is. Just to educate others about those facts as told by a person who leaves them. And I can also have a book on SMM so that those who want to learn can learn. But if you already say you know, then there's nothing to learn. I'm not saying I know, but I am saying Masimba's situation is shared by millions and millions of Zimbabweans. Yeah, I, I can talk about you, but are you share? In me, I've already told you that I have I encountered Masimba previously when he was aggressive and asking for information, asking for this. Every time I gave him information, he became enlightened by the day. And that is true. enlightened. That's what he's saying. I've learned a lot from you because he would not have learned if he persisted that he knew me when he didn't know me. But if we take your story, then you can talk about you. I have already spoken about my story. If anyone wants to know about my story, I've got 222 videos on YouTube. Here okay. we are talking about Masimba. If I wanted to talk about my story, I'm sure I would invite you. And I think uh, Kalapane Van You know, like, 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 like this, it. like Riz says, we close there. Riz says, how do you earn your living? I, I mean, uh, Riz, how do you earn yours? If nobody has asked you for food and we are here just to share insights, ideas, knowledge about what we have uh, gone through, why can't you be a positive person in your own mind? Whether I eat it or D or whether I drink my own urine, how does that affect you, Riz? When I get two, two, two followers or two views, how does it become your issue? We are here to talk about the real person who has brought us into his, his uh, life. I didn't bring it on him. I didn't take this on him. But there are people who come here just to back at other people, just to talk about other people. If you are here with me, Reese, why can't you use your time elsewhere? Let others who want well, to Well, Anzi, Anzi, and the end, yeah, she pere mushe mucha wundu, especially Sabina hasn't taken a medication. I personally think munas noctura medication, yak and the anushansa ghost name rekunzi and the end. That means kuti wewe and the end, you told him my mental problems because you're not accepting your birth name. My name is Sabina Anesuruishi. It's like a talk for yourself, not for me. And, yeah, and. Sabina this is, is how here. we are so close. 
is yeah, Zimbabwe. No, Sabina, Sabina is here to talk for herself. So let's talk and use this as an example because the same people don't want to do anything. And uh, the point we're missing is not being explored. I need my learned sister to explore the point we're missing. Good answer, I'm aware. Reason, not on go zero. She seen a way. Risa, I love her. Risa, after Penga, we are good to support us. I is a good person here. No, I don't Or you, I don't need, I don't come here to be supported. I well, Mr. Mawere, Chirungu Chaka Siana, and Tika Chirungu Chaka and Garavich. Sagara Staro could support a Hongo Tower as very respected. Saga Chandu Dango put a Mahono to Panapachinke Chuku Penga. Yeah, I think uh, 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 isolation from family and friends and resolved grief. It sounds like let's uh, it it's sounds a like an asylum seeker Abbi Mandishona. The person is here, he's alive, he's already alive. Uh, ask him those questions. But yesterday, last night, you are saying, Come, I'm sorry. My my interview with the queer didn't go well because I wanted him to come out about this community building. So I can send the queer platform. So let me go and do other things. I say go ahead if you if that's what makes you happy to be every day on media. But what are you talking about, Mkwa Masimba? I don't understand it. And in a Sisando respect of Singaita Miriam Misha. And Mr. Mawere, you are really upset. Let us come and listen to you, Mr. Mawere. We are your nunzi, please. No, no, I, I, I just uh, making the point, you, you, I was joking about, you know, like uh, Joshua Ngomo used to say, uh, no, the relationship between nunzi and nyama, that nunzi, ziruda gore sa nyama, but zilu tevera, shi, zilu tevera nyama. Kanapasna nyama only nunzi. Kanapasna mkoma masimba, that's the point they were making. Kanapasna mkoma masimba aoni wanu kwa mawere. Saka mawere must stop living. You must stop being me. You must stop being yourself. You need to go and invite masimba. Could I own the nunzi so that uore no kurumita? Ugozi wewe diwa no koza wita kutu masimba ite doti. Ago rijka. Okay, my brother here, my brother here, I know the guidance, the terror, and you bless you so much. And the sister, the depression issues will help many Zimbabweans explore it more, in my opinion. So, can I carry on from where you had cut me off, Miss Maweren? Yeah, I'm saying we are going to have another show. This is just, a, a, I was just trying to explain. Uh, because I, I have to write somewhere, but uh, yes, I the think problem with these shows is that they are not being advertised in advance. So, I guess we've got other lives to live. So, like, sometimes you find yourself watching a show, you know. I hope you can invite us to so advertise because the uh, guidance of machine. No, no, that's the, the lesson. If we can have a conversation from the lesson from Kwama Simba, that is a need to talk about these issues of depression without having to include Mkwama Simba as the only person who is highlighting that issue from his own conduct. And his before, you cut me off, before you cut me off, that's what I was trying to express to you. But Nagancha Tokupai answer Yacho, which could cost you like a million US dollars. Saka, thank you for serving me. The game would so get off to put you to Changuin. Now I'm going to say him for a walk. Okay, so that's uh, fine. Uh, bye bye. You, so... Take okay, care. Bye. Yeah. Bye. So, th thank you very much uh, for following and uh, fact versus fiction. Let's keep on looking at the two. They are cousins, they are related, and uh, sometimes we think fiction is fact. 
Sometimes we think fact is fiction. What is it? Who am I to judge what is fact? Who am I to judge what is fiction? What is fact? I don't know. Sitting here, I would be pretending if I said I know which is which. And the, the, there are people who are genuinely depressed. There are many people who don't have anyone to bank on. There are many people who don't have anyone to reach to. There are many people when they are down who don't know what to do. So how do we then, uh, how do we then rise above this? And how then do we stop a, a patronizing a person just because they're going through a difficult time? How do we convert our connections to communities? How do we build communities where experience are shared and the experiences that need to be shared, they have to find expression. Whether it's this platform, whether this is another platform, that is the same conversation I had with Mkwa Masimba offline. So those who are interested in understanding that, I'll share with you what Mkwa Masimba says offline so that you judge for yourself whether he's writing a book or he is playing it up. If he is not playing it up, I have implored on him to stop it so that he can get to the issues that go beyond him. Instead of advertising me as Mr. SMN, why can't he open a platform for people who have different experiences with the government of Zimbabwe, find a platform to breathe and to air their own experiences without bitterness so that others may know. And those who want to know can say, this is what we want to know with our time so that we learn from other experience so that never again shall your government be used or abused to undermine you, so that we learn what reality is, as lived by those in the facts of the reality. Mukoma Masimba is in the fact of what we are talking about. So his book will be enriched because he will be talking and you will have video presentations. You will have the visual. You will have followers talking to him, some of them pretending to be doctors, some of them pretending to be experts of depression. What if he's not depressed? He just wants to expose those who pretend to be what they are not. Those who pretend at every corner of the street to say, I'm a doctor, when there's nobody who is sick. How many people have offered advice to a person who is advising himself, who is thinking for himself, who is doing things in his own self-interest. Then we come in here and then say, go and talk to Kunabanda. And yet he is saying, witchcraft has no wings to fly to Australia. He doesn't believe in witchcraft. Yet we want to push him to believe in witchcraft. So if it is Pukuraki, the other side of the mountain, the untold story, many people who are mentally challenged would not have the courage to write the story. He is saying, I am writing the story on their behalf. And I will do it using my own experiences rather than their experiences. So this is where we are. So why can't we talk about our own stories, not substitute Mkoma Masimba's story that he is writing himself daily and is eager to tell the story himself in his own words, in his own actions, in his own thoughts. Everything that he does comes from the mind. He's got a mind to decide when to go live, when to stop it, what to say, and he says it. 
I've never exported words to him so that he can speak on my behalf. Why do you criticize people when you, when you invite them to share their opinions? If I am myself and I criticize you, I'm your friend. The person who is not your friend will make you believe that they love you, will create fiction that I love Mfuzi, when I may not. And if I disagree with you, I have to say it out so that tomorrow you can also say the same about me without me feeling any bitterness. Those who don't express themselves are the most uh, uh, dangerous people in life. They come on this platform to abuse someone. Who says people come here to make friendship? That's why I don't. if you don't come here to your enemy, go to your enemies and talk to them. Go to dictators and talk to them. This is just an open platform, Fuzi. It's not a serious platform. It's a voluntary platform. You can give up your, your time. Create a platform. Create your own page, which is what I told Mkwama Simba years back. You were together. And Mkwama Simba went ahead. I said, go. It's free. Don't wait for somebody to broadcast you, to host you. Why don't you become the host of yourself, the host of your thoughts? Do what you need to do to get ahead. If it makes you go ahead, fine. Do you not see that you contradict what you say? You are having a conversation with me, but I don't wish to have a conversation with you. So why don't you just have a conversation with yourself? So I won't answer anymore, but you are doing it for other people to influence them, to incite them, so that you can feel good about it. That's, I guess that makes a day for you. If it does, fine. But those who are critical, fine, be critical, so that we learn. There are some people who are friends of Mkwawa Masimba today, just to spite somebody else. Let us allow people to have their own voices. It's an open platform. If he can't be here, he can be elsewhere. You don't have to be here to be heard. That's why we have this platform. Let's be more organized, as Sabina was saying. Let's have shows that we plan so that we can learn from those shows. Let's have a conversation, different sides, is it? Fact that Mkwama Simba is sick, there will be another group which says it's fiction. So let's compare the two. I don't know which is which. So that is the end of my show. And thank you very much uh, for being here. And I hope we will also go to other platforms and those so that we create a market of, of ideas, marketplace of ideas, a festival of ideas. But not everybody should come to Maweri's platform for the purpose of other than helping improve literacy. And if we learn something from Asimba, let's exhaust that. What are the lessons we learn? Those who are for lessons, you got my inbox, you got my email, you got my number to talk so that we can distribute, democratize it. When I'm off, somebody will be on. We have 24 hours in a day. I can't be there for 24 hours. Otherwise, Rhys is going to ask, what are you doing here? Why don't you do other things? Leave Masimba alone. As if I leave Mkoma Masimba, I eat Mkoma Masimba. No. He is his own man. Let him be who he is without anybody else coming in. Um, Mr. Mawere would love to see more of your business shows like the one you showed with your friend, the restaurant owner. We will do that. That's part of community building. When you have a birthday, you go to the restaurant. When you're in South Africa, social distance. If you need a job, you need education, you need to get ahead in life. That's, those are the shows we need. How do we learn from Kwama Simba? He says, I've come back. Compare me and Mushana. Who has done well? Who has not done well? If you had a big grade between 1 and 10, Mkwama Simba, Mushana, 
Who do you think has done well? That's what he asked me last night. And I have to give my own grade. So my next show is going to be Mushana versus Mkoma Masimba. And I will give my own my own uh, uh, ratings. Hashtag leave Masimba alone. Let him be who he is. There are many other people who are sick. And we are not going to talk about them. We are focusing on Mkwama Masimba. He is authoring his own shows. I will give you the evidence of how many times he has called me to say, I want to be on your show. I want to be part of the 1873 FM family. I want to be part of Banking on Africa's future. Himself, not me. I've never invited him. But he says, I've learned. I have to pay back through what I do. I can only pay back because the knowledge you have given me is enough to make me get ahead with life, not to give up on life, but to wake up every day, do what I need to do in my own name. Where I disagree with him, he will still do what he needs to do for himself. And I congratulate him that I don't know what I don't know. I can't lead you. I can't validate. I can't give you the stamp that is life. Life will teach you lessons. Keep on going. So that's what we're going to take to talk, Mushana, uh, from my own perspective. Uh, you may believe you didn't learn anything, which is fine. But from my side, I can see from the outcome. We are still talking about things. We are talking about it four years ago when we could be talking about something that is beyond what we are talking about here. How far have we moved? We have independence for 40 years, but we are still talking about 1979 as if we were never independent. That's my problem. Thank you. Okay, Michelle wants to say something. Let's say. Hello? 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 Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. So, just, just to clarify, uh, was Mushana your student? Was, you are asking me, what did yes, Mushana, yeah, it's, it's believes, Mama Simba believes he learned something from the shows, they were literate shows, if you are not, if you are not a student, fine, you just say, that's what you say, I was not a student. No, no, I want it you was, to answer, it's a question. No, I'm I'm saying I can't answer for you, if you say you were not a student, as alleged by Mama Simba, just say so. I don't I don't remember coming to your show as a student. You know, that's fine. So that's all you say. So, and no, what I, a I, I, So I will I will answer that to Mkwama Simba to say Mshana did not come to the show to learn. He came to, to he's a professor. I learned <laughs> things from you. No, no. And I learned things from Mshana, I learned things from Mkwama Simba and I'm still learning. Mutuma, I think if we can give each other a chance to talk, I will keep quiet when you're talking because I don't want to talk over you so that your points are not heard. So the reason why I asked you the question is because I do not want to make any assumptions at all. That's why I asked so that I can understand what your view was. When I was coming to your shows, did you think I was coming to your shows as a student? I don't know, Mishan. I said we will come back uh, to that show. Let's talk about what my view was of the shows. That Masimba 
and yourself were part of. Simba believes you as a student, and that's his view because he was learning. He didn't know some things about SMM that he now knows. I cannot uh, stop Masimba from, uh, you know, believing what he believes. But I certainly did not come to your shows as a student. I came to contribute my views. And during the process, when we were engaging, I got to know some facts of other things. Just as we are talking, you do not know what I'm going to say, nor do I know what you're going to say next. So when I learn something new, it doesn't mean I came here to be schooled by you, but I came here to have a conversation. And a conversation adds to an understanding of certain things. That doesn't make anyone a student and anyone a teacher. You are just having a conversation. Well, I've heard your point. I learn every day, and I'm happy to be a student. Because if I'm not a student, I never learn. And I want to be judged by people. And if they judge me, fine, I'm happy for it. So that's my point. So if you are not happy yeah. to be called by a Zimbabwe student, that's fine. Qualified. What makes you qualified? to judge. Because no, Mukoma Masimba asked, asked you me. That, yeah, but what makes you think you are qualified to give a grade? I, I, I've never said that. That's my, my, my point, that there are many people who are qualified who can teach anything. We have nothing to share apart from bullshitting every day. I didn't quite get they can that. bullshit for the next 10 years, but they'll never share anything they don't know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my Mandela. I think Teseka really right by wrong way. It's so upsetting to see my beloved brothers uh, exchanging words with no const uh, construction. Yeah, it's just like MDC and Sun, and we should avoid to go down that route. As far as I'm concerned, uh, uh, Mushana Amfuzi is my respectable brother, including you, Amawere. right answer. Apana munu more fact than anyone. Tingori here. How do we solve this problem? I'm aware of our We're in cooperation. We're in cooperation and being in, in competition. So I hope we can take off the spirit of competition. Who is this? Who is better? This is why we hear Mkoma Masimba challenge me. This is why. We should give each other opportunities to speak with Amara Munu two minutes yake apera, a senior or futuvoya two minutes yake apera, than put his abina kada kutaf reomu romu, put in Drukona shakadai, so to speak for yourself. And that's what you do, Mr. Maweri. You cut us and you don't want us to think for ourselves. And I agree with the Mushana. I agree with Senor. Can you please let us just be ourselves without imimi the how to think because it's so soft way the way from our childhood. Thank you. I've heard you. I, I don't think I, I have any way of saying it better. I was my uh, the shows because I got the time that I have to do it. I've never stopped Sabine from watching a show or from speaking your mind on anything. What I have been doing, I hope uh, you have come here. I've discussed with you, uh, with uh, Masimba when we were talking yeah, about Tembi, Tembi is asking for a link, Mr. Maweri. No, I'm, I'm saying, let's say, I already have 30 minutes that people are waiting for me. So, okay. I, yeah, so I, as I said before, 
There's nothing wrong from having a platform that any one of you can come and say, I'm hosting. You invite but it's me. It's not everybody who can host. We've got different gifts. Shana has got his own gifts. Mm -hmm. Mimunema gifts you to provide well, the show. You, 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 you spoke, but you're now I've not even finished what I'm saying. Go ahead. Yeah. So if you have uh, an issue that you think ought to be uh ventilated, as you said. You told me you are going to host the show. No problem. I can't be everywhere. All I'm saying is when I come, the things that I am bringing forward, even when I brought, when it was Mam Kwama Simba, he's the one who came and said, I learned something. I never went to him to say, to force him to learn something. No. If you have not learned anything from me, it's still fine. And you can call me a barking dog. I can continue to bark and you never learn anything. We never move from learning to practicing. What I heard from Kwama Simba is since those days, I've learned something that what is fact need not be fact. What is fiction need not be fiction. There are many people who believe that is fact that Mawere, you did one, two, three, four. And I used to believe the same thing. But now I no longer believe that because you took time to educate me. Now that you educated me, I can be the voice of what I know. I don't need you to continue to repeat like a broken record. That, that I, personally, I personally think we're just trying to express that we would love to share our opinions without being humiliated or being stripped because mm -hmm. we also have people who respect us. That's what yeah, senior but, and also but, but, is trying to say. Is it, I've spoken to these people uh, uh, privately. I've, 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 I met Mushana, senior. I've spoken to him. You, you, you may not be aware of what takes place outside these boundaries. I'm just aware of what takes off on on this platform. Yeah, so that, this that, may be, that may be fiction, not fact. But if we are here to talk about fact, how... we need to stop playing with words, okay? What is the reason we are on 1873? What is the common denominator is Mukoma Masimba? What is Mukoma Masimba's problem? Depression is real. What is causing depression? Jet, let's work but, together, no, no, but, not but, to be in competition. Let's but, find a solution to a problem. But that's your vision, Sabina. But don't make me you. You are here for one reason. Mushana is here for another reason. I'm okay, here. Okay, what is Mr. Reason. Mushana here for? I, he is here to talk about him. He is here to talk for himself. That's what I said. Let's have a session when we can talk about this Mushana so that we don't extend it over and over again. So that okay. we have a session where we talk about the that subject with Mshana, which is uh, first is what is learning. He's saying that, no, I was never a student. I admit I'm a student and you are judging me as you must. That I've cut you, I've humiliated you. Let's talk about that. Then you give me the No, we've well. already spoken about that in our next life. We just want to come and share our opinions on a panel without being humiliated, but to say facts. Kanamuna Achita disagree without insulting each other or making each other feel lesser than the other, like you always preach to us. No, I'm saying is uh, that's what you said. Let's have planned shows so yes. then we advertise so that I can't advertise that Sabina is going to be in a show without your consent. Yes, this is why we say it yeah. that when you so do I, these shows, they get, get us going. Like and when we want to speak, you remember you've been cutting me off throughout when I wanted to actually uh, say a big point. But I'm saying is the time you come into the show, you're saying you want me to come to you to say I'm going to have this show. I only have the show when I think I want to have it. Those who are available at that time, because I know people are busy doing other things. Whatever okay. I have recorded, they can also follow. Okay, but you just hit our own 
Uh, yeah, for me. Why are you part of the community to plan that? When I say let's have a banking on Africa's future, there is no, there is no. I said to Mugama Simba, let's be more organized so that we have structured shows. Yes. The same message I've given to Mushana, instead of coming here and every day we are meeting strangers, why don't we form a community that deals with politics, that deals with depression, that deals with financial matters? But it need not be me in all those shows. Okay. Thank you. So I don't need to have uh, uh, to be there. But you are misunderstanding me. The reason I come is to be able to, enforce the, to, to push this point that if we are a community, let's have a structured community conversation. Do we need to learn from each other? Then we have literacy courses just to respect each other on air. I may, I may be saying something, I may be cutting you, but without me noticing that I'm cutting you. I think you're very right. Like, hey, senor, I cut our commander, but I think I still preach. You'll be preaching, I beg your pardon. No, <laughs> I, I love him still. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying is, I said to senor, let's be a community. Those who are interested yes. in culture, from their culture group. Mm. But don't make me the person who is going to be in every problem. Okay. And the problem is when people engage you in support of a common goal, it always ends up about, about money. And I do not agree with that. That's, let's talk about money. That's Mufuz has brought in. That without money, how do we have churches? Tell me a pastor who is going to give his, his time to take you to heaven and he doesn't talk about money. Yes, uh, I'm food to watch it. No, I end up, but I'm just saying he's bringing a subject to say he disagrees with me that money is not important. He wants to go to a stadium and see Arsenal and Chelsea play and you don't pay for it. Um, I think it's a way forward for us anyway. We're already opening up to each other, you know, what seems to be the problem because of obviously people tell me off when I do my own lives, you know, that's a you know, you swear, so it's up yeah. to me to stop it or not stop it. That's, but right. it's good. It's good. that's why some of us uh, go, don't go to those churches. But imagine we go to Masiba, we love him, but we can't put money so that he gets his act together. Meaning? Uh, meaning what? He needs to pay for a car, and he's a comedian. He was Trevor Noah. I pay for Trevor Noah. I'm not going to abuse him. But why should I pay and we have 500 of us? Yes. Um, Why do we need all the 500 people who claim to love Mgwama Simba pay so that nothing. Life. Yes. That's, huh? that's the point I was trying to make before you cut me off. Okay, no, I'm just reading what I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you, but also <laughs> talking to the, to the comments. Yes. Yeah. So that's all. So let us uh, take uh, on. Let's have uh, shows. I, I don't have to ask you to come here. Yeah. Yeah. So let's us say a uh, uh, plan. Let us be organized like a church, mm -hmm. like a football club, like a netball club. That's like right. Yes, because right now we're just going around like crazy chickens. Like I said, most of us have not slept. So we've slept, but we haven't slept because we are now suffering from form of fear of missing out. So that's what we can talk about. And let's yeah. say, um, food says if there's a genuine need for money, we are supported without any problem. I don't know what he supported, but if you supported, we have a genuine need. For money just to clean up but let him say no but let us say this is a community that loves you each one of us what, paid. what is mr senior saying here he's saying mawere you have your own version of what you speak to invex why speak about me in diripo 
ko tino nyere nyoka negari tino yerere nyoka negari give me the mic regaindi taure if i'm not a threat musatize what what does that mean no i'm saying is he's saying that my way be a prisoner here and uh, let me talk and i've said already i need to go but I respected you, Sabena, and the other people, so that we get deeper into this issue, the issue okay. that brings us here. What I'm saying is the more organized we are, the more mm. you don't have to ask of Maweri to host the show. And I've said to Senor, why do you need me to start a show for you to come and talk about something when you can start the show? But Mr. Uh, Sekuro Senior, if he does his lives one eight seven two or one, sometimes he talks to himself. Sakaimimi, so, you've got your own blessings and your own uh, enigma. No, no, that's what him and he's got the words. No, no that's what Mkwama Simba says. I've learned in life. I told him Mkwama Simba, just be consistent. Just keep mm. on the message. You never know. The harder you work at something the more you show your passion in it, people will respond. Don't worry about having one person following you. Malcolm X started with one people, one, two, three people listening to him. But as the more they listened, they went to tell others. And they went to tell others. That's what Mkwama Simba says, Mawere, I've learned something from you. I have come back with the numbers. Because so it kind I, of you, measures your determination. Your determination. So you are saying thank you very much for teaching me something that I don't need a radio station to be radio. Yes, Mr. Mawere, the Kuru Senior has been doing it for five years, right? And just to get to 10 likes, it's hard. Remember, you were one of those people too. But he must, he must be the author of that voice. I said, Dumguama Simba, why are you selling me to other presenters? Ah, Saka, you know, Pukurangum non di Pumizere, Kundi Hostan, to that walk. Pukurangum non di. Let's have democracy in hosting. So that is not <laughs> one person. A very good morning to you, sir, and a very good morning to 1873. Thank you very much for this uh, morning dos, Mr. Mawere. We need you. Don't give up, Mutara. We are listening. Okay. It's not we are listening. I am listening as uh, Sabrina. I don't move by myself. Ah, okay. I thought I was trying to learn whether in the day. In the day. I want to write my own book, in? Mr. Mawet. Uh, okay. So, so, in so, in so, in <laughs> okay, I love you, brother. Bless you. Yeah, brother. let's talk about the book writing. Bye, everybody. Comment okay. section. Watch out for my book comment section. Bye bye, Miss 